Today I'm basically going to show you how to turn your mercenary into a clay golem, so just watch this. First off, if you've never tried using this weapon on a mercenary, it dramatically slows the bosses down. Let me show you my skill tree. Max lightning mastery, max fire mastery, max enchant and warmth, and then we got max nova with just a couple points in the static field, the one point in teleport and telekinesis. So we've got a relatively strong Nova, not super strong, but as you can see, we've got pulse damage coming from Dream and Dragon, and we got both Sundering Charms, so pick your poison, whichever the enemies happen to be weaker against, especially on Players 1, I think this is pretty efficient. And then we can also always hit them with this, This is that's going to damage them. And our Mercenary's doing two to 5,000 damage, and he's slowing them dramatically. And he's got the flickering flame to keep us alive. And he's got some crushing blows. So we've got all of our bases covered. <clears throat> I have to find out the exact amount that the cap is. The limit for your uh, slowest target by. I think it might be 50%. It might be higher than that. If it is, good. If not, why the hell would they make a weapon that has slowest target 75%? I think the cap might just be for bosses. Let me know in the comments, because contrary to popular belief, I don't know everything. And I think that's okay. One thing that somebody might say, why not run an insight mercenary? I mean, my, my mana is perfectly fine. Plus we're, this is kind of like a niche players one. I could maybe get in trouble with my life. So I could see maybe the argument for me, maybe running like, phoenix on swap or something so that i could constantly regen my life but i mean the mana is never really an issue in my opinion with this character i mean of course you can have stronger nova sorceresses you can have stronger different things but i like having this variety that i have right here on this i mean even if i run out of mana i can stand here and regen it for a couple seconds and it's going to be more than fine this is on hero editor that's that's why i'm not really bothering picking anything up i'm just so yeah you're definitely going to want to have some potions at the I'm curious to see, because this is my first run after putting this together, after theorizing it, theory crafting, and I want to see how it does against the boss. I want to see how that slows target does, if it does anything. I would definitely, if you want to be like more, more in charge of the character yourself, maybe max out static field and then go a little bit less into warmth or maybe not less into warmth maybe less less into enchant because we're not really hitting anything ourselves and we can sacrifice maybe a thousand damage of fire damage on our mercenary in order to make ourselves more powerful with our own attacks we also might occasionally need potions on our mercenary so we'll have to we'll have to see how that goes when we get there I'm gonna get these out of the way just because I don't want to get bombarded by a million of those and I don't have don't have healing potions and I didn't have a scroll of town portal either <laughs> not a super big deal but I've really been trying to build up this Dartland FPS channel and it's kind of tough bringing a, a new channel up from zero and part of me is kind of tempted to post FPS some on here but I feel like it's so it's a totally different audience than the audience that I've gained from Diablo so it almost feels like the way to go is going to be definitely I'm sitting here drinking my coffee and playing with one hand so I mean I guess it's not too bad of a build I'm not as stupid as they tell me I 
I don't know. I, f I almost feel like I could replace the dream with something with like a 220 sorceress helmet and be better off. I feel like the the Kelpie snare mercenary might be better off rather than me focusing on this aura. Maybe me focus on focus on making my character a more powerful character rather than worrying about dragon and dream maybe you know something else maybe rock like viper magi or maybe like the right ormus or something like a nova ormus or something and maybe a 220 circlet all right let's see how much he slows him down yeah he's he's got him damn near decrepify speed right there Let's see if we stab him a little bit with our ethereal man catcher. So, I mean, it's not really like a big boss type build, but... I think one thing I might start doing, I might start messing around with some of those... Uh, some of those drop simulators like where you can simulate like 10,000 runs and get the results instantly on a spreadsheet I think that could be interesting to even do that and make like YouTube shorts 10,000 runs here 10,000 runs here and put them out fairly often on YouTube shorts don't steal that idea <laughs> actually I don't give a shit as long as it as long as it makes Diablo more popular and stuff it's a win for all of us in my opinion but yeah, let me know what you think about this character. Would you switch it up? I'm actually thinking after I played it more that I'd rather have like enormous robes with 220 source circlet or something like that. Get closer to that. Even a, um, yeah, I'd need two sources of FCR in order to get to that 105 breakpoint. So I literally need an armor and a helmet with some FCR. So yeah. Let me know if you think that would be the move. I personally think that would. Everybody have a great day and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.